Hello to you all and welcome to another video. My name is Nigel, also known as a Lake Erie vlogger. And today I'm down here in Port Coburn and right behind me is a fantastic vessel I've been trying to capture for most of this summer. Uh, yesterday I was down here in Port Coburn on the sea -Doo and the weather was pretty crappy and the boat got delayed getting here so I gave up waiting. Uh, but anyway, it's still here today and I managed to get some nice shots of it. Now it's here. Uh, it's a great vessel, uh, built in 1967 here in uh, the St. Catharines area, which is just to the north of me actually, uh, Port Weller area, which is St. Catharines. And back then it named the Canadian Century. And in 2002, it got a rename to the uh, former owner of the company, which is John D. Leach. And Old Goma operates this vessel now, and it sails mainly on the Great Lakes, uh, moving coal around and things like that. One of its first contracts was actually to move coal for the Ontario Hydro uh, Company. And today it is still a major workhorse in the Old Goma fleet. Tell you what, let's get a closer look at it. Let's try and get the drone up. It is a little windy, but we'll get the drone up and have a good look. The John D. Leach is a distinctive Canadian self-unloading bulk carrier operating on the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway. The vessel was built in St. Catharines at the docks at Port Weller back in 1967 and she was named Canadian Century. Then in 2001, following the retirement of the Upper Lakes shipping executive John D. Leach, the vessel was then renamed in his honour. The vessel today is operated by Algoma Central Corporation, which is a major Canadian shipping company that acquired the fleet of Upper Lake Shipping in 2011. The ship type is a self-unloading bulk carrier, and these vessels primarily used to transport bulk cargo, such as iron ore, coal, limestone, and grain across the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway. John D. Leach measures in at 222 meters, which is 730 feet in length, and she has a beam of 23.3 meters, which is 65 feet and 5 inches. Her cargo capacity is over 31,000 tons. The ship arrived in Port Coburn back on September the 28th, and she was here until October the 4th. During that time, she had some scheduled work done, uh, mainly due to excessive damage in her unloading system. John D. Leach is well known for its unique angular slab-sided bow, which distinguishes it from most other Great Lake freighters. This design, referred to as a brutalist bow, is a result of the ship being built to maximize cargo space. 